how I find my jeans and got my hair back, this is what I do every day to stop hair loss. I have a family history of hair loss. This is my mom. This is not her real hair. When I was growing up, I remember my mom trying all kinds of different things because her hair loss was so bad. In the end, she couldn't stand how her hair looked. She was close to being bald, so she had to wear a wig. And this is my sister. Her scalp was pretty obvious. So realizing the genetic hair loss issue, I knew from a younger age that at some point in my life, I would have to deal with it myself. But I didn't know it was gonna come this early for me. This is 2008. I just graduated from MBA and I started working as an associate in an investment bank. The lifestyle was really stressful. I was working 100 hours a week so I was so stressed out about my work. My hair loss just got really bad. And it got so bad at one point, I started seriously considering hair implant. But of course, hair implant is a very expensive procedure. And like all surgeries, it comes at a risk. So I knew I was probably way too young for this procedure. And I knew that I must do something to stop this. That's when I got really serious about looking into how to prevent hair thinning. The first things I did was to research on the shampoos. This is really important. This is a foundation because we wash our hair so often. What you use on your hair, on your scalp, really makes a huge difference. I started ditching all the shampoos with sulfate and this made a big difference because sulfate is really bad for hair loss. It also made you feel itchy. The more natural the ingredients, the less chemicals, the better they are for your scalp and your hair. I have tried so many different brands. So the thing about hair loss is you need to have more than one go-to product because once your hair gets used to one product, then it's less potent. So what I do is I have two to three brands that I always use and then I switch between them. If you like this video so far, give me thumbs up. If you don't like it, give me thumbs down. I would like to know that too. If you are new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you come back. How you wash your hair is really important. And here is my process. First, I use this tea tree mint shampoo. I can use generously on my scalp because the first step is really important. You want to get rid of all the grease on your scalp. And in the meantime, you want to be very gentle because you don't want to be pulling your hair out. What I like about this shampoo is it is sulfate free. This is so important. So once you get rid of the grease, wash it out completely. And then the second step is where the magic comes in. This is the shampoo I have been using. This brand, I've been using it for the last five years on and off, and it has always worked. This is from DS Labs, Riveta. This brand also makes conditioner. It comes in the two bottle set. This one is called High Performance Hair Stimulating Shampoo. This one is a little pricier, but it's worth every penny in my view because you really don't need that much. I normally do just two pumps each time and it's really important you want to leave it on your scalp for at least three minutes in order for it to work. It really stimulates your scalp and this product is one of my favorites. And then after three minutes, when you rinse it off completely, I use the scalp treatment this is another brand of my favorites i've been using this for the last three years on and off and then it's still quite effective on me and this brand is called regena pure this is called the intense volumizing biotin conditioner you need to massage a generous amount to the scalp and then rinse it thoroughly i normally use it and leave it on my scalp for another three minutes and in the meantime, while I have that on my scalp, I also use Argan Oil Morocco Conditioner. I use it on my hair ends because this gives you that little bit of shine to your hair, which is what I love for my straight hair. And this is from the same brand as my shampoo, and this brand 
what I love about them, even the conditioner is sulfate free. So all the products I use are sulfate free, which I, is really critical and makes a huge difference. In terms of how often you wash your hair, you don't want to wash it too often because each time when you wash your hair, your hair is going to fall out. But that's not the most important part. The most important part is that if you feel like your hair is oily and you wash it out, whatever products you use, it is going to take off the oil on your scalp. That might make you feel good in the beginning, but your hair, your scalp is going to have to produce more oil to make up for what's lost. Does that make sense? But that's how it works. So it basically becomes a vicious cycle. The more you wash it, the more oil your scalp is going to have to produce to make up for it. So, and then you're going to keep washing it again and again. So my frequency, I try to wash it every two to three days, but I definitely won't be washing it every day. And because you will notice your hair falling out every time you wash your hair. Now, the next step is how you dry your hair. This is very important too. And I've made a lot of mistakes with that. Before you dry your hair, I use the Moroccan oil. This Moroccan oil treatment, I use two pumps. You massage it in your hands to make sure they're evenly distributed. And then you gently massage them into your scalp and your hair. It's really important to cover them evenly and you don't want to use too much of it because obviously you don't want your hair to get too oily. I love this product because it's not greasy, but it does give you that nice shine of your hair. And then I used my blow dry. I used T3. This is a powerful but also gentle hair dryer. You don't want it to be too hot. This is a mistake I made when I was younger because I wanted my hair to dry fast. I would do it on the highest possible setting. But drying your hair too hot is really not good for your hair. So what I do now is I combine the high and low setting. I dry my hair at a high temperature first and then I tone it down. I dry it with my cold air. This combination will make sure your scalp cools off because having all that heat in your scalp is really not healthy for your scalp either. After that, you can notice a big difference and it has a nice healthy shine and less hair is falling out. In addition to treating your hair when you wash them, another big part of my hair care routine is the treatment, which I use on a daily basis. This one is called Advanced Thinning Hair Treatment. It's developed by Peter Proctor, PhD. I've been using this treatment for at least five years now. This is one of the most effective ones I use twice, one in the morning and one at night time. Eight to not 10 drops on your hair. So when I use this, my hair, my scalp becomes less oily. And if I stop using it for a little while, I notice my scalp becomes more oily again. Another very important step that I have taken to prevent my hair loss is to use the laser cap. This is a brand I use. I grow laser hair growth helmet. This is a low level laser treatment that you can use at home. I use this four times a week and each time it's a 25 minute session. It has different settings for male versus female. And for female, there's two different settings depending on how bad your hair thinning is. I normally go with the stronger setting, low level laser LED light for stimulating your scalp. This has worked very well for me because if I stop using it, I will notice a difference. The current price for the exact same laser helmet on Amazon is $5.99. We got it more than five years ago, but I think it's worth every penny. In the very beginning, when I first heard about laser hair treatment, I was going to this clinic in New York City near Central Park. I was going there every week, so the cost adds up. That's when I decided it's a good investment to make to get this in-home treatment so that I can use it regularly every week. Plus, I don't have to travel. If you can use a helmet like this for a really good eight to 10 years, I think it's really worth it. 
In addition to the helmet, my husband also got me this laser grow comb. The brand I'm using is called Power Grow Comb. We got it five years ago. It's still working pretty well. But I'm not sure if the manufacturer or this brand is still making these combs anymore. I did find different brands on Amazon and I will leave the link down below. Compare with the helmet, this is very convenient. It's much smaller and plus this operates on batteries versus the laser helmet you have to plug it in. You basically have to stay seated and with this comb you can carry it and do it anywhere. You can even bring it to your office. I normally use it when we're traveling. It's a smaller treatment area obviously because of the size so you do need to comb it through your scalp. Depending on your situation, you could consider getting either the helmet or the comb or both like me. To grow my hair back, I've tried different kinds of hair vitamins and supplements. Here is two of them I'm currently using. The first one is Nature's Bounty Extra Strength Hair, Skin and Nails. This is a combination of different vitamins that has proven to promote the health of your hair and skin and nails. I take this once a day, three capsules with a meal. Another one I've been using for years is Saw Palmetto. This is another herbal supplement known as a remedy for male prostate health, but it also has proven to work effectively for reducing hair loss, whether for male or female. I have used this and I noticed my scalp is less oily and the reason is because it blocks the enzyme that converts testosterone into DHT, which causes hair loss. I'm currently also taking vitamin D3. If you don't have enough vitamin D3, it causes a lot of different issues, including fatigue and hair loss. I do believe your food, your diet is a big source of the nutrition needed to prevent your hair loss. So make sure you have a very balanced diet. The important nutrition for your hair regrowth is biotin. You can find biotin in a lot of different foods. The easiest one is probably egg yolks. So make sure you eat your eggs regularly if your diet allows it. Sesame is really good for your hair. Sesame really does two things. Not only it's good for your, your hair growth, but it also plays a big part in delaying your hair turning gray. I've been consistently using sesame in my food and I did notice a difference. This is 100% black sesame powder I got from my local Asian market. It's sugar-free, no preservatives. That's what I love about it because it's totally natural. I eat this on a regular basis mixing it with my soy milk or the yogurt. It has no taste, but I do want to caution you if you have never tried sesame products before, before you take too much, you wanna make sure you are not allergic to it. There has not been a lot of study done on allergies for sesame because it's a relatively newer product. So make sure you are not allergic. Nuts is a great source for good nutrition for your hair as well. I love nuts to begin with, I snack on all kinds of nuts all the time. This is another great way to promote the health of your hair. Having a healthy lifestyle is really critical to treat your hair loss or prevent your hair loss from getting worse. When I was working 100 hours a week, I know how stressed I was and it was impossible to keep my hair on my head because if you are always dealing with constant pressure and stress, you are not going to sleep well and all that is going to reflect it in your health as well as the hair loss. So you do want to make sure you have a healthy lifestyle that includes reducing the pressure and stress in your life. Do anything you can, meditate, yoga, exercising, all of the things help. And most of all, you want to make sure you sleep well. When I don't sleep well, it's very obvious my hair is falling out a lot more. But when I have a good night of sleep, I feel rested and I feel much better overall. And of course, my hair loss is less obvious. 
If you do find yourself in constant mood swing, that's not good for your overall health, and of course, it's not good for your hair loss either. Watch this video, I share with you my tips, what I do every time when I feel low or when I don't feel good about myself. It will help you as well. Watch this video.